So here we are at last, it is St. David's Day. Tinkerbell's interested. <laughs> Morning Tinkerbell. And uh, here we have snowdrops all over the place. Lily wen vach, as they're called in the Welsh language. Small white lilies. So uh, snowdrops everywhere. They've been out for a while actually. I put some in a video a few days ago, I seem to remember. But over here... We've got daffodils absolutely out in flower and uh, that is actually the St David's Day flower. It's the national flower of Wales and uh, it's nearly always in bloom on St David's Day which is called Gwildewi. So uh, happy St David's Day guys. In Welsh, Gwildewi happy. Hi, hope you're good today. Uh, we're going to do a couple of readings, actually I'm going to do a card for the day in just a second but uh, this video is all about the Great Reset and uh, how it feels to be in a nice place in the country where you can kind of reset your own life. And I'm going to do a five card reading a little bit later in the video. Uh, you can pick a card, you can pick all five, you can take it to mean whatever you want but my intention is all about the Great Reset. First though... Let's go with Tarot of the Sephiroth, seemed to be a very popular choice the other day, so we'll use it again, and uh, we will pick out a card just for today, okay, or just for tonight, just for this afternoon, just for this morning, whenever you're watching, okay, a card of the day is for you, I'm going to fan the deck, and here we go, we've got the Prince of Cups, that's the card that's come out right now, and uh, Prince of Cups, well, it's uh, very high up in the cup suit, but it is all about what you long for, what you desire. Chances are it's going to happen, okay, because the princely energy is very uh, directive, you know, it's quite forceful, it's not the same as having a king or a queen, but it really is quite forceful energy. So uh, get your thinking head on, what is it you actually want, what do you want to manifest, think about that. That's so important, and uh, as we're at this time of the Great Reset, which is, is such a big concern going on in the world at the moment, it's really important that we know what we want, because that's how we get to be kind of facing the direction that we want to be facing in, and uh, that's really going to make a big difference actually, because we've all got big choices to make. The uh, big companies in this world would like us to think that they're going to make all the choices, all the decisions for us, and uh, all we can be is kind of puppets in their hands, putty in their hands, I suppose, to be moulded into whatever they want. But uh, that is not the case. There aren't enough of them to actually force their hand like that. They haven't actually got enough might to control everybody, but you have got enough might to control yourself. And uh, the Prince of Cups, you know, he's kind of an internal thing. All these tarot characters are something internal within us, as well as uh, whatever we might think about the divine nature of the tarot, the, the God side of it, the heaven and earth side of it. Um, it actually all links up, you know. We think of angels and the heavens as something outside of ourselves, but they all actually live within us as well. That's the magic of it. So think, Prince of Cups, what is it you actually want? Are you going to make it happen, friends? Maybe not today, but soon. That's the thing to do. Okay, so there's a card for today. Since everything's coming to life now for the summer, I've been uh, digging this patch of soil in my garden, this vegetable patch. The first of several, actually. There's another one over there, which is completely overgrown. <laughs> but either side of those tyres, underneath the grass, there are two more huge vegetable beds. So I've got leeks going down the side there, and uh, that's a very Welsh kind of a vegetable. It grows very well in Wales here. And uh, here, we've got some seed potatoes, which I've just put in the soil. I'm going to cover them over in a minute. These small ones along here are called Blue Danube. They're a first early that I didn't get in in time. And it's quite early to be planting these big ones now. These are called Sarpo Mira. They're big beasts and they produce really enormous potatoes. But the instructions said plant them in March. And it's, well, it's only the 1st of March, but it is March. And we've got some more Blue Danubes there. But um, there's four different varieties in this whole bed going right across to uh, the leeks there at the end. And gosh, there's a lot of work to do to get everything ready and to make everything happen. Of course, I'm joined by, by my able assistant cats who don't 
ever seem to want to be on the camera. <laughs> Are you going to look at the camera, puss? No? Well, she's a big help anyway. She really is. So, time to get these covered over. I've got my purple wheelbarrow. Nice healing colour of wheelbarrow. A heelbarrow, if you will. And what a lovely day. The weather is warming up already actually, so before I do anything I'm just going to take this thing off because I'm getting really nice and hot now. And this is great, it's only about two weeks ago everything was frozen stiff. I had to have woolly hats on and gloves on and all kinds of stuff, but today it's a lot milder. And uh, the day is young, it's going to be getting even better than that as we go forward. So great. Now then, that's really all about change, isn't it, and how fast change can happen in the world. And uh, it says in the title, this is all about the Great Reset. And uh, what I'm doing in the garden here is a big part of my own Great Reset, if you will. Um, I'm super lucky to actually have a piece of land where I can grow vegetables and support myself, you know, get, get things to eat that way. And uh, Wales isn't, well this part of Wales anyway, isn't the best place for growing vegetables to be quite honest. Um, it grows wonderful grass and uh, so our milk is, is known the world over and is wonderful stuff. But it's not quite so good with vegetables but I do manage to get enough potatoes that if there was a big crisis I could live off potatoes. I get all my own potatoes, more than I need really. So they're always the first things in. And uh, that's my way of handling the Great Reset. But what's actually going on in the world with the Great Reset at the moment? I reckon the best way to find that out is with a reading. Now I'm going to do a five card spread. As always guys, I'm inviting you to pick a card. You know, or pick several cards, or pick all five of them. It's entirely up to you. And uh, the meaning is whatever intention you've got in your mind at the moment. That's how this channel rolls. That's how I do stuff. But I've uh, just had a shuffle. I'm going to take the top five off. And I'm really looking into the Great Reset. That, that's my personal uh, intention with this. And uh, if you're interested in that, right, there's a fantastic uh, British YouTube channel. It's by Russell Brand, who... Uh, I'm sure wherever you are in the world you'll know who Russell Brand is by now because he's a big movie star and uh, he's a really interesting character actually and he talks a lot about the Great Reset and Bill Gates and Trump and all the millionaires and billionaires and everything they're doing, how it's changing the world. But uh, for me, this is my personal Great Reset. I'm, I'm doing it on a much smaller scale. But what's going on in the world? Let's find out. Card number one is this one. Did you pick card number one, friends? If you did, this is it. And it's the Two of Cups. Now we actually got the Two of Cups in a reading I did just a couple of days ago actually when we went for that nice drive in the countryside. So it's come up again so it's really really reminding us here. So the number two for one thing. I mean Cups it's all about what we long for, what we desire. In astrology it's the air signs, it's Cancer, it's Scorpio, it's Pisces and um, it's actually got Cancer down there. I don't know if you can see it there, but it has actually got cancer right down at the bottom of the uh, the card there, the symbol for cancer. So um, it, it's really um, a question of which way do you want to look at this really, you know, because it is about what you want. It is about what you would actually desire to bring into being in your own personal future. And being a two card, there are definitely two sides to it. Okay, it's early in the journey of cups, it's early in the journey of what you want, but you really can kind of separate your own reality and do your own thing to overcome all this stuff that's going on with the Great Reset at the moment. You can reset your own life somehow, and I know many of you guys don't actually have a garden that you can use for that, and um, 
That's a great shame. I think everyone should at least have access to a bit of land somewhere. But if there's any way you can grow your own veg that just takes you out of all this, this whole factory farming crap that, that, that we've been forced to live with at the present time. Um, so two of cups, guys, look at it in two you know, look at it as a two-sided thing. The Great Reset is most certainly happening, but we are absolutely not powerless to do anything about it. That's the message that they want us to sort of take on board from what's happening at the moment. They want us to feel powerless. They want us to feel that we've all got to go along with the billionaires and the plans they've got. But actually, we don't. There aren't enough of them to actually enforce this. And uh, if we all actually start going our own way and doing what we know to be right, then uh, physically we're going to do much better because we're going to be in with a much better chance in all the situations that go on. And spiritually, we're going to be on the right track as well. That's a brilliant, brilliant possibility there. So two of cups, two sides to the thing. And uh, think about what you actually want, what you actually desire. And that's really uh, emphasizing itself because we've got two of cups in the last reading I did from this deck, which is Tarot of the Sephiroth, by the way. I'm using it again because you guys seem to really like it, and I really like it too, actually. It's a very obscure deck, not many people have got it. Um, it wasn't around for long, it just it came out, didn't sell many, and, uh, and disappeared. But I was lucky to get one while it was here. So, what is card number two? It's this one, guys. What do you think this is? Well, I'll tell you, it's the King of Discs. Right, the, uh, the pentacles in this stack are represented by uh, the suit of discs here. So discs have a lot to do with abundance, you know, and this is actually card number two, and it's coming after the two of cups, so this is the next step. If you create your own sort of view of uh, the global reset and the whole thing, and you actually reset your own life to take account of it and to be going in the direction you want, then abundance is coming your way, and it's the king card. It's got to be done, you know, and and uh, it's also the king of uh, the, sorry the king of pentacles or the king of discs in this case is deeply and closely associated with abundance and the need to share that abundance if you share your abundance even if that drains it off and there's not much left there's always going to be enough for you because the conveyor belt of life and karma and all good things will bring you more abundance as long as you're using it as long as you're sharing it if you don't make the most of the abundance and actually use it and actually share it, then what we get is stuck energy. Things slow down. Things don't happen as quickly. Hello, it's, <coughs> excuse me, it's my beautiful cat, Marcy, who's not on camera yet, but might just jump up and become visible to us all any second now. Anyway, pentacles, um, it's an earth sign suit. It's all about the earth signs. Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn. So it really plays into that idea of using the earth for what she actually is and uh, growing the food that we're meant to have to sustain us wherever we are in the world. Okay, and yeah, Taurus, Virgo and Capricorn, the signs associated with that. <coughs> I'm having a good cough because I've been working hard this morning and I'm going to be working hard for the rest of the day too. So now we need the heart of the matter. And I already know what it is, because I can already see it. But what is this card going to be? Did you pick number three? Or did you pick all five? In which case, it's the sort of the pivotal card. It's the Nine of Swords. That's what we've got here. And so this is an air sign card. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius are the signs associated with this. And we see some of those signs actually represented in this card here. We've got the symbol for Mars up at the top there and uh, down here we have got Gemini as well. So that's, um, it's, it's essentially a Gemini card but it's a Mars card as well. Now whenever Mars gets involved with astrology we tend to get really difficult impulses uh, coming into our minds or we see impulses coming to people around us and it, it tends to make for a lot of argumentative energy it's not the most positive thing and the thing to do with that energy is channel it into something constructive and since I'm all about gardening today and that's what I'm doing uh, then that's where I'm channeling that uh, that Mars energy at the moment so it's the number nine it's the swords there's a lot of mental battling going on there's a lot of thinking to do decisions to be made and uh, you know it's easy for me to sit here and talk about the Great Reset I believe this was coming about 15 years ago and that's when I started learning to grow vegetables for a lot of us it's only just be started to become real in the last year or so there may even be people for whom it's an absolutely new thing now and the 
realization has come and it's a big mental battle when that happens because you kind of realize all your um all your paradigms oh, everything you sort of believed about the world has shifted and it was never actually what you thought it was very very difficult energy argumentative within one person you know one side of the brain can have a big argument with the other side of the brain about this that's the nature of it but it's the nine of swords it's you know number nine it's it, it's kind of nearly at the ten of completion so stuff needs to be happening it really does so friends put all that kind of crazy energy that's going on with the reset uh, into something constructive some kind of constructive project that is going to be what makes the best of it um now then card number four. Oh, and here's another card that actually came up in the last reading i did it is number 13 and it's the death card again really really powerful image now this is actually moving on from the heart of the matter which was card number three this is the short-term future really certain things are getting killed off at the moment certain new things are coming into being and um just to pick a couple of examples one thing that's uh, being killed off at the moment is personal privacy um if, if you watch the russell brand videos i was talking about he explains in great detail how um, now lots of people are working from home using their computers. Uh, there are actually programs available which um, very wealthy people can buy and which your boss at work can buy to actually monitor what you're doing on the computer to see how productive you are. One of these companies is called Sneak dot com and uh, they reckon they're not about sneaking on people but that's obviously what they're selling to the employers in this situation so personal privacy is getting hammered that's really going to be being killed at the moment and the question is do you go along with that or do you start setting up your own life start doing your own thing well i wouldn't suggest anybody suddenly leave their job over it you know we, we've all got to make a living somehow we've all got to keep going somehow and goodness knows it's not easy but change is really really happening and we've got serious scorpio energy down here we've got the scorpion at the bottom of the card and that's the kind of a black and white energy that goes with scorpio in astrology and in the cards and in life generally you, you know things are either one thing or another there's no middle ground so you really have to make your mind up what you're going to do about that whole personal privacy thing and again this in the general sense shows the reset shows what that's all about if you are working at the moment good luck to you tread very carefully but be aware that if you're working from home on a computer you might very well be being spied on stick a bit of tape or a, you know a band-aid or a, something stick something maybe a little bit of tack or something uh, stick that over the camera on whatever device you're using unless like me you actually want to make a video uh, which is a different kettle of fish but a lot of people in this world are unemployed at the moment and believe it or not guys that is actually a big opportunity uh, because you've actually got time to do things you believe in and if you actually set yourself off in that direction and do that stuff you believe in you would not believe how much you're going to overcome the craziness of what's going on at the moment they can't reset you if you're not already set that's the thing about that now unemployment is a terrible thing i've been through a lot of it uh, i had a stroke many years ago and it, it prevents me from being able to work in a normal job i can only work for a couple of hours and i'll become exhausted um uh, and that's actually set me free to make youtube videos it set me free to create this amazing garden it just takes a lot longer than it would take most people for me to do these things but still i do them and um you know <sighs> To actually be unemployed, it can go two ways. You can just kind of decide you've got nothing to do or you can start doing your own thing. And do your own thing, guys. That is so important because if you've got nothing to do, it, it just, you know, it, it, it's a degenerative thing for the soul, in my opinion. Things just aren't going to get better if you've got nothing to do and if you don't have a drive and direction um, because that's all a part of who you are. And if you don't know who you are, then negative energy can get in and it can really kind of do its thing you know the, the negative energy gets in and it does all 16 dances in your heart body and soul and everything so uh, have something to do okay and the death card is about really being willing to make a change in your life to make sure that that is the case uh, to make sure that if you are being spied on you know about it and you're sort of happy about it because of the money it brings uh, if you're 
out of work, do something, do something with your life guys. But there's a change indicated there for absolutely all of us and the Great Reset, it sounds like a change, it is a change and it really, really is happening. Okie dokie. So what is card number five? This brings us to card number five and it is the star. Aquarius is the uh, star sign associated most with this card and Aquarius is a very far reaching really out there thinking sign and that's the energy that goes with this card you've really got to think outside the box the star is all about getting in touch with nature in so many ways we can see this lady looking down into the pool of water water symbolizing that flow of abundance that we were talking about with the king of pentacles a moment ago the abundance is flowing like a river and if you don't actually keep the flow going it's going to go stagnant so keep the flow going but also you know get out into nature as much as you possibly can and i know that a great many people in this world far too many people can't actually get anywhere near to what we think of as a natural environment because of the way the cities are set up and it's just really hard to get out of the city especially if you don't have a car if there isn't a bus going anywhere like that and uh, buses tend to go from one town to the next and trains so you can't always easily get out into the countryside but remember guys i say this so many times because it's so important beneath your feet it might be concrete it might be 10 foot thick of concrete with basements and subways and tunnels going under your feet but somewhere down there is the natural earth every city in this world is built on top of the natural earth and even the cities have their foundations for all the buildings um so this the cities in, the, in their own way can be grounded you know because all that concrete all those bricks all that building material stuff does actually reach down into the earth so wherever you are is actually grounded and ground yourself guys send the roots down from your feet right down into the earth that's the way to to visualize it and just hang on for dear life because the reset's happening there's no way out of it and uh, there's not exactly a way around it either but there's definitely a way through it and that way through is to be absolutely you to actually be yourself that's what really matters you're going to come and say hello puss here look let's just have a quick visit from marcy because i know you'll like to see marcy by the way if you like cat videos right look up i am puma i underscore am underscore puma um, it's these Russian guys who've got uh, a pet puma that lives in the house and uh, they've got a pet cheetah that lives outside the house as well and uh, this puma is so good, it's so, so cute, it, it, it's really well behaved as well it's, uh, it's a real gentle giant of a puma and uh, my favourite cat videos that I've ever seen really and uh, there's part of a reset that's actually been going on as long as the internet has been around if you think about it that way um, just you know cat videos it's people looking at nature people looking at natural behavior and people able to view what they want what they actually enjoy in the media rather than just what we're spoon fed what we're force fed uh, i'm enjoying netflix for example because you get a lot of different choices but it is all still programming it is all sort of stories and ideas that have had to make the grade somehow of uh, passing all the tests and uh, all you know fulfilling all the requirements of the rich people who actually run it so look out guys it's you know it netflix and stuff is so entertaining but i love youtube because it's ordinary people getting on with ordinary lives and on that note friends there's today's reading i hope you found it interesting i'm going to move on to a little bit more in the garden and uh then we'll get some more done here we go. Come on, Marcy. Oh, dear, she's hanging on tightly. There she is. <laughs> go on, baby. There you go. Now then, here's something that's really worth knowing about. This part of my garden is absolutely filthy and super messy at the moment. But in those two buckets there, there are sun chokes. Uh, they're called Jerusalem artichokes a lot of the time. But uh, that word Jerusalem comes from girasol which means the sun and uh, they're a fantastic food. Let me take you over there and give you a quick look. 
So. There you go, we've got two buckets of them here. Real, real big planters, but you could grow them in a bucket, anything. Put some holes in the bottom to let them drain out, and uh, they're a total mess at the moment, as it's time to clear them out. We put string around bamboo poles so that the leaves have got something to grow up, and these are the, uh, the dead stems from last year, so we'll get rid of them. But first, I'm just going to have a quick dig in the soil. I've eaten a lot of these already. <laughs> I can't find one now because I've eaten so many. But they're so good. Uh, lots of recipes on YouTube for what to do with artichokes, actually. If you can find one. Which I can't so far. Come on, artichokes, wherever are you? We'll get there in the end. Is that one? No, it's a leaf. Good God. I've eaten more of these fellas than I thought I had. But... Uh, they're so good, you know, you can uh, just kind of treat them pretty well like potatoes. They cook a lot like potatoes. They're a root vegetable, let's shift that. If I could just find, oh here we go, here's one I can show you. Look at this. You can see that they, they are quite potato-like. I'm going to eat this one today. Um, you just kind of take the roots off and uh, take the soil off. You don't actually have to peel them, you know, the skin isn't really hard or harsh. They're a little bit like sweet potatoes in texture, but they don't taste like sweet potatoes. Um, they have been called fartichokes, because, uh, well, for reasons that I'm sure you've already worked out. Um, but that's no bad thing, you know, it keeps the body functioning, shall we say. And um, this one's actually come into life already. I'm going to eat it because I've dug it out of the ground now. But that is totally edible. You can pickle them, anything. Um, I slice them up. I put lemon juice on them, which stops the fartichoke aspect of things. Uh, really kind of improves that a whole lot. And uh, they're just a great vegetable. And they grow really abundantly. The only reason it took me forever to find one in there is that I've already eaten so many of them. But now I've found one. There might be another one somewhere. <laughs> yeah. There's another one. See, they're a real random shape as well. That's oh, stuck onto its branch from last year. Real random shapes, you know, all shapes and sizes. And uh, just a bit of Mother Nature's bounty, really. Which is so good to have. And you can grow these in containers as well. It doesn't have to be a garden thing. So there we go. Jurassic artichokes, sunchokes, Jerusalem artichokes, whatever. I got these on eBay, they're, they're easy to find, and if you just leave a few in the ground, you get a whole lot more the next year. So here I am back in the old car again to say thanks very much for watching friends, I really appreciate it. If you would like to buy me a coffee or buy the channel a coffee, please head over to ko.fi.com forward slash Andy's Readings, coffee.com, that's ko-fi.com forward slash Andy's Readings. You can take a look at various pictures of what's going on in my life at the moment, so I'm going to be adding to that soon actually because spring is here as i keep saying and everything's like different and new so uh, more pictures coming on coffee all the time so head on over there if you would like to uh, just have a look at that and if you'd like to leave me a little donation that would be very much welcome actually uh, not cheap running a youtube channel but it is great fun i do enjoy doing it and that's the main thing but uh, friends yeah thanks very much for watching have a fantastic uh, time ahead uh, so it's kind of Good night, good morning, good afternoon or good evening, depending on where you are in the world. I hope the rest of your day is good and uh, if this is night time, I wish you a nice...
quiet resting time okay friends so a uh, thumbs up please if you've enjoyed this one do hit the subscribe button that makes a massive difference and i'll see you again very soon in a future video so love light blessings and peace